In my last video I mentioned already that there is another new feature related to the work rules and this new feature uh, I want to show you now a little bit more in detail. Uh, let's assume that Mr. McGowan has a couple of holidays of vacation. Vacation. So we mark this here and immediately there comes this warning. Right, because the system says he is violating our maximum duty time. You remember we said 600 minutes, that's 10 hours, and vacation is obviously more than these 10 hours. But this is not what we want. We would like to have the possibility to tell the system that there are certain events that do not fall within this work rule. How can we do that? So first I delete this activity again, and then we go to our to your management page and there on the categories we have to activate a new system property um, which is an event property and it is called by default type it's of type event type which is a set and it is a system property you can this you can see this here with this yes so property sets and this is the event type property and it has by default it comes with one value with one element and we will change the name of this element to non-duty. Okay, non-duty. So it has now, the set has one element and the, the name of this element is non-duty. The other thing that we have to do is we have to activate this property. So we go to non-duty, we go to the type page and we activate it here for the non-duty events. So that's what we do. That's what we do here. And now we go to our work rule. This is the maximum duty time that we created in the last video. Uh, and we have this field here, ignore conflicts when. And here we can define exceptions. We click on this button here. And we, you can see here already there's this event type property and it has only one element at the moment, the non-duty, we drag it over, we enter here our name, let's say we call it also non-duty, that's the name of this exception. We could even limit that to certain slot group type, but here in this case it does not make sense. So we just have the event type and we click on this little icon to save that. Now we have this one here, click OK, and we are able now to select it in this list, non-duty. Perfect. So now we told the rule that whenever the event has the property type set to non-duty, then we don't want to count it. Let's see how it looks like. Again, we create vacation for Mr. McGowan. Next, and you can see now we have now this uh, type property here and we say that's non-duty. Okay, and now the activation is set but there's no warning shown and that is exactly what we want to have.